all right hey everybody how's it going so today in this video I'm gonna show you the number one software to use if you're trying to get your content to rank online um, I got turned on to this software probably around I would say around six years ago um, I started using this software and they have just advanced every since then um, and I've just stuck with it and it always does the trick every time you're trying to get something to rank online now I do want to warn you this is a very aggressive software so you really need to use it sparingly and do it correctly or it can hurt your website if you don't do it correctly you don't want to abuse this because it will have some negative results so now that we got that out the way let's go ahead and dive right into this and I'm gonna show you exactly how to use this software in order to start getting some traffic to your web pages or basically to any link that you have online so basically what this software will do is it will create massive amounts of backlinks by posting content to all of these different types of websites so you have premium social networks regular social networks article directories social media blogging um, I mean social media bookmarking, RSS feeds, web profile projects, form profile projects, uh, we have press releases that also has a pinger in there, a indexer, as well as the blog network, then you also have PDF sites, wiki projects, Google Places, and some more stuff as well. So to get started with this, you need to go ahead and purchase the license. I made sure that I left a link for you to get started with this. Now, once you have this software open, there is two different ways that you can create campaigns using this software. Um, one of the easiest ways is going to be the Turbo Wizard. So I'm going to show you how to use this, how to put up a quick campaign to start getting some backlinks to your content. Okay, so once you have the software open, you're going to go up here to the top and you're going to click on Turbo Wizard. Once you get here, it's going to open up this beautiful little page for you. And then you're going to go ahead and start putting in your content and filling up these links. Okay, so what you want to do is make sure that you have Article Builder as well. If you do not have that, make sure you check out my other video where I showed you how to get Article Builder and exactly what it does. But you're going to need this in order for this to work effectively. So the first thing that you see here is your primary keywords, okay? So you have primary and secondary. So what you want to do is go ahead and get your keywords and you're going to use up to 5. Okay, I already have my keyword research done, so I have my keywords here. I'm going to go ahead and put my keywords right here for. Them. All right? And then I'm going to go ahead and click on generate from primary keywords so I can fill out the secondary keywords once that's done you'll see that I have my keywords filled out here you see I got some campaigns running right now so what I want to do here is I want to change the percentage here so that way both of these are being split and I'm gonna put this on 30 30 percent for the secondary keywords next thing I'm gonna to move to my primary URLs okay so these are the primary places that we want all this traffic to promote to be pointed to and these are the two pages that I want to promote primarily and then I'm gonna go ahead and throw a video in there as well now I want to throw in my secondary links now these links are gonna to be to where you posted your content after you created just say you created your video and then you went ahead and shared that on LinkedIn on tumblr we're gonna go ahead and put some anchor text in here so that way you know we're not hit by that Google Panda update that happened a while back so I have a list of anchor text uh, words here that I've already carved out and the anchor text are gonna be like click here check out this website um, view the content here things like that that's not related to your keyword okay we don't want to have everything with an anchor text with your keyword in it because Google does not like that okay once that portion is done we are gonna go over here to the right hand side of the page and we're going to determine where are we getting our content from for this alright so if you have article builder set up the way that I told you you're gonna go ahead and select the article source as article builder and then you're gonna select the category of the articles that you want to post this is cell phone related content so I'm going to select something with cell phones 
here we go we got a category for cell phones and now I'm gonna complete the target word count okay so this is how long the articles are gonna be so I'm gonna put these to 500 words and I'm going to see how many articles do I want to spin together I'm gonna to go ahead and put I'm going to put 10 articles here so they'd be very unique and then I'm going to auto generate spinner variations uh, next thing I want to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to select a template these are the different posting templates that you can use for this they're all very good for this one I'm going to put it on carry up the search engines and I'm going to decide on how many profiles do I want this to run on so basically the profile is acting on how many accounts so if I had one Twitter account or two Twitter accounts this is basically how many profiles that I want this to use and for this one I'm gonna use one profile and then I'm gonna spread this submission over a seven day period now if you just put your website together you might want to spread this out a little further you don't want to do everything too fast so that way you get noticed by Google now the next thing you want to do is you want to decide on how many links per bookmark that you want to put in here and you want to keep this to a maximum of three so I'm gonna go ahead and leave mine at two everything else looks good on here um, the start date and time here as well if I want to start it now if I want to start this tomorrow I can go ahead and select that time frame here and then the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to name this and let's see what do we want to name this one okay we're gonna go ahead and name this and once that's done I'm gonna click on create campaign Now what's going to happen is going to go ahead and start pulling article content and it's going to start populating and creating the profiles as well for you. So you don't have to go to each one of these websites and create a username and password and create an account. The software will automatically do this for you for hundreds of websites. And as you see, the process is happening right now. All right, now that that process is done, you can go ahead and close this out or you can go ahead and create another campaign. So now that this is set up, I have the option to make this happen uh, reoccurringly as well so if I want to put this on a loop so once it's done it's going to repeat all over again I can go here and I can select edit loop mode settings once I'm here I can run this campaign in a loop mode if I like I can put this to an infinite amount of days and I can run this um, let's say every five days in between and then I can select create new accounts each time okay and as you see it's going to show you what type of sites that you're going to be posting to and then I can click on save and then this will actually run in a loop every time it gets done uh, for infinite amount of times alright so now what you can see here is a previous campaign that I have that's running right now let's take a look at it and as you see this is a campaign that I'm running right now and there is a total of 306 backlinks already created that is pointing to my website okay now you can look at the actual project here and this is showing you the process that it's going through it's gonna create the accounts for you then it's gonna start posting on all of these different websites for you um, and once it is complete you'll get a summary here and showing you all the links where your backlinks have been created at you can go here and check out your URLs for each different one and then there's a log file as well from everything that is happening alright so now that we learn how to use the software we're gonna go ahead and put some keywords in Google that we've been trying to rank for and show you exactly what this looks like after you run this type of software and you started doing some marketing behind the links that you're trying to promote alright so we'll go to Google and we'll go ahead and put in a keyword and I'm gonna hide the private results because I'm signed into Google so automatically my content is gonna pop up here because I'm signed into Google so I want to show you what it looks like you know if a normal person just went and typed this keyword into Google this is where we're gonna be ranking it so I'm gonna hide those results and then as you see I got the keyword here in the top and here we go first page of Google okay slide down some more let's see if we have any other positions on this page another post on Google okay so we have two positions on the first page of Google out of 36 million results we're ranking on the first page alright so let's go ahead and do another keyword we'll do a few of these
all right so I'll put in a keyword and I still have my private results off see that keyword and look even for that keyword we're ranking on the first page of Google all right let's slide down a little bit more let's see if we have okay now we have additional piece of content that we put out that's ranking on the front page as well all right so let's put in another keyword all right here we go all right so we have one first page position oh, here's another one two first page positions on Google front page out of how many results 818,000 results <clears throat> alright so let's put our next keyword in alright there's two positions alright so we're ranking for two positions on that one and that one is out of 10 million three hundred thousand results and we'll try another one so that's five keywords we just put in and here we go ranking so all this is paid content okay which probably don't even have anything to do about what I'm marketing but as you see I am the first organic result on Google okay and that's out of 36 million six hundred thousand results let's see here all right so I mean that is that is perfect positioning oh here, here's another one right here so we want to dominate this page with as much content as possible let's go to page two just take a look around see if there's anything good here up oh, here we go on page two two positions one and two and the rest of this stuff is pretty much paid advertising okay so my content is ranking without having to pay per click they're paying every single time somebody looks at this ad I'm not paying every time somebody looks at this ad my content as long as I keep my backlinks up I keep updating my content my content will stick here and I will keep on getting traffic for this over and over and over again so as you see SEO marketing is one of the strongest forms of marketing it might take a little bit more time to get your stuff to start ranking but once you're there you really have a good chance in generating some real traffic without having to have a large ad budget where you're paying for every impression or every click okay so this is a really really strong software to use if you're trying to get your websites to rank um, if you ask me it's the most powerful software out there these guys do a really good job with keeping this updated I've never had any issues with it so I highly recommend that you guys go ahead and get started with this I'm going to do some more videos and show you some more in-depth training on it I just wanted to introduce it to you and show you exactly what I'm using and what I've been using in order to generate some traffic next videos will go over the wizard uh, the article manager the uh, crowd searcher as well there's a lot of other tools in this that I'm going to show you that come into play that we're going to be using daily in order to start getting things to rank hopefully this video helped you guys out I will see you in the next one